Sapphire show off uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, is unfortunately the GOG version, which is not the best. Uh, PS1 or like a PS1 emulator of this game is the much better version. So, I'm gonna continue where I left off, um, where I stopped playing. This is right before the third boss fight. I hear you think. I kill all of them. I'm such a badass. Some type of blade. First, uh, I think the first uh, image I saw of this game, or like, a, was my uncle playing this, and there's this part right here. He said he killed them all. It's, it's a ghost. The GOG version has quite a few bugs, like the blood um, it's supposed to be under him, you can see it. Like on his arm. Yeah, it doesn't look great. There's a lot. Definitely get the PS1 version if you're interested. So now that Jimmy's gone. Wait, you're still alive. Barely. Oh, the blood. What's that smell? Let's see what. Oh, wait. I, I, I just remember. I don't need a little force damaged. Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. <laughs> What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Good on spot. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel it. I love this music. Again. Oh shit. That's good, Snake. Now we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand it is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Did 
shit. I think when he does a like a cartwheel or is that can hit me. No, I don't think so. Okay, yeah, that's the move I was thinking of. Never mind. Their three hit combo. Oh shit. Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this. Mm. Yeah, I'm definitely not as good as it used to be. Okay, what? How'd he hit me? Okay, yeah, I'm not good at all. Compared to back then. Okay, seriously? I'm getting this ration. Okay, he almost got me. Shit! Okay, next phase. Now we gotta play Han Seek. Said the first ones to give me. Yes, I know you little creep. What the? That's buggy. Look at those ECs. Next phase. That's actually an easy phase compared to what I usually get. Because I remember him like being in a random corner or something. Oh, oh okay, now I remember this part. Got bait. With punish. Oh, okay, never mind. I just got him. Get him in the center. Looks like I got closer. That's good snake. Hurt me more. Mm. Okay, now I'm going to do this.
You were killed in Zanzibar. This pair the computers. Gray Fox, Colonel, that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi. What happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! <laughs> I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. 
I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of... The screen wasn't supposed to be uh, as small as the They're original... Uh, and in and the original... ...laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. And he's a bastard. Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind. It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you, too. Meryl, 
The engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... She was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Exactly the same as last the time. Snakes she are. such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. <laughs> way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? <laughs> Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japan animation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. This is another Konami game. They're still the best I in the field can't of remember robots. the name. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. It's weird they don't have a... Uh, I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons. Uh, subtitles. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. So just like Zelda, my health my health goes up when I be a boss. So um, notice a glitch of whenever like a character uses a stealth camo in the cutscene, like sometimes they'll appear. Um, like the st stealth camo stops work it stops working for like a moment. Don't remember it happening in PS1 version. Speaking of which, PS1. Let's see. Police knots, Konami, and you see what it looks. Yeah, I can barely tell, but I think it said Konami at the bottom. Uh, let's see. Can't remember which one that's from. Um, can't remember what else is in here. Nah, where? And that guy's dead. Mm. Yee. So when I saw that death hallway, I didn't. Uh, I don't think I ever. I saw that uh, cutscene with the uh, ninja. Had, um, st had that guy impaled and holding him in, up in the air. Like I just, we just went to that cutscene. Um, I just remember like it went to that cutscene where Snake walks into the room. 
Now let's uh, be a creep. We're waiting for Meryl to go into the woman's bathroom. Even though those like sound like she's getting shot at. She's fine now. Okay. Nah, someone come out of the men's bedroom uh, bathroom <laughs> bathroom. It's a square that does that. I haven't done that throughout the entire playthrough. Okay, I think that's Meryl and those in the center. Uh, yeah, that one. Nope, I was wrong. She spots me like in that uh, room south of me. Uh, she'll say snake and then run to the one's restroom if I remember right. Yeah, I think that's her that's right below me. This is the way I usually um, find which one's a mirror. I'll just wait for her, like a creep. Get yeah, she's coming now. Yeah, see the way she moves is different. And that sound. And she's disappeared. Don't move. That's the second time I've been able to sneak up on the legendary solid snake. Your Meryl? There's no way you could pass for a man for long. What do you mean? Hey, men aren't allowed in here. I had no idea you were so feminine. This is no time to try and hit on me, Snake. Besides, it's a waste of time. When I joined up, they gave me psychotherapy to destroy my interest in men. Same smart mouth. You're Meryl, all right. Are you hurt? Not yet. After all, I was disguised as a genome soldier. So why'd you change? You'd be a lot better off dressed like one of them. I got tired of disguising myself. The truth is, the uniform smelled like blood. What's that mark? Huh? Oh, this? It's a paint tattoo. It's not real. I was a fan of Foxhound way back, and guys like you and my uncle were in it. None of that gene therapy like there is today. You guys were real heroes. There are no heroes in war. All the heroes I know are either dead or in prison. One or the other. But Snake, you're a hero, aren't you? I'm just a man who's good at what he does. Killing. There's no winning or losing for a mercenary. The only winners in war are the people. That's right, and you fight for the people. I've never fought for anyone but myself. I've got no purpose in life, no ultimate goal. Come on. It's only when I'm cheating death on the battlefield. The only time I feel truly alive. Seeing other people die makes you feel alive, huh? You love war and don't want it to stop? Is it the same with all great soldiers throughout history? Why didn't you contact me? My codec was broken. Is that all? Shouldn't you just be happy we met up like this? How did you recognize me in disguise? I never forget a lady. So there's something you like about me, huh? Yeah. That's not how I found voice. out which one's her. Oh, I see. First it's my eyes, now it's my butt. What's next? On the battlefield, you never think about what's next. So this is the scene that. How are the negotiations going? Uh, after cutting, I'll tell no you. Progress. So it's all up to you, huh? Somebody's got to stop them from launching a nuclear missile. There are two ways. Either we destroy Metal Gear or... We override the detonation code. You got the card keys from Baker? Card keys? You mean this? Where are the others? There should be three keys. This is all I've got. Where could the other two be? I have no idea, but they must be somewhere. If we can't find them, we'll have no choice but to destroy Metal Gear. Metal Gear is in an underground maintenance base to the north. Take me too. I know this place better than you do. You'll just slow me down. You don't have enough battle experience. 
I won't slow you down, I promise. And what if you do? Then you can shoot me. I don't like to waste bullets. Got it. I'll be careful. You know, I don't use makeup the way other women do. I hardly ever look at myself in the mirror. I've always despised that kind of woman. I always dreamed of becoming a soldier. But I was wrong. It wasn't really my dream. My father... He was killed in action when I was younger. You wanted to follow in your father's footsteps? Not really. I thought that if I became a soldier, I could understand him better. So are you a soldier yet? I thought I was until today, but now I understand. The truth is, I was just afraid of looking at myself, afraid of having to make my own decisions in life. But I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. It's time I took a long, hard look at myself. I want to know who I am, what I'm capable of. I want to know why I've lived the way I've lived until now. I want to know. Take a good look. You won't get another chance for a while. You should wash your face, too, while you're at it. Yeah. This isn't a training exercise. Our lives are riding on this. There are no heroes or heroines. If you lose, you're worm food. Yeah. Is that FAMAS functional? Unfortunately, it's out of ammo. Where'd you get that Desert Eagle? I found it in the armory. It's a 50 caliber Action Express. There was a SOCOM pistol too, but I chose this. Huh, so I got a leftover, huh? Isn't that gun a little big for a girl? Don't worry, I can handle it. Come on, use my 45. Listen, I've used a gun like this since I was eight years old. I'm more comfortable with it than I am with a bra. If we're gonna go to the north, we'll have to go through the commander's room on this floor. The overland route is blocked by glaciers. The door to the commander's room is security level 5. This card will open it. It was inside the pocket of the uniform I was wearing. Looks like he must have been guarding someplace important. Okay, let's go. I know this place better than you. I'll be point man. Follow me. So yeah, that um, PS1 version, if you get in this um, trigger, that cutscene kind of quick. Um, from when she walks into the bathroom, she's not even in her uh, pants, and then the later on, right before she gives you the card keys, she uh, put, managed to get her pants back on, but uh, that's like a natural scene. Um, for some reason, it's not in this version. That's strange. There's no guard. What happened to the music? I'll keep a lookout. Make sure you're ready, okay? I thought I used point, man. I don't remember. I don't remember our health uh, when I played on PS One. The like our health bars being the same length. Oh, it hurts. What's wrong? Don't come here, Snake. Are you okay? What happened? Sound fun. Let's go. Come on, Mr. Foxhound. The commander is waiting. Mr. Foxhound, huh? Yeah, can't help it. Unlock the door now. Ah, shit. I triggered it.
What's wrong? I remember him using music in the f uh, fifth game. <laughs> using first person, he did. Come on, stay down. There we go. So how am I going to be him? Because I'm playing the PC version, not the PS1. And the PS1 version, you uh, one of the ways to beat him is to uh, unplug from uh, controller port one and turn plug in two. You can't do that in this version. Uh, in this version, it's, it's like I think uh, instead you use keyboard and he can't read your keyboard inputs. So, and I don't know um, what the inputs for the keyboard is, so I'm going to have to go with the alternative method to beat him. Is it? Is that how you... Shit. Okay, he's supposed to destroy the the that psychomantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. Five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer. And he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became a sort of psychic spy working for the highest bidder. Traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I've got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. So I was thinking, hang on. I have to. Oh, I really don't have to do this. I already hate it. Hang on. I don't want to use keyboard for this game. Hmm. This is gonna feel weird. Space action?
Oh, I can't. Are you kidding me? I really don't want to do this. Alright, Star Hill. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, this is not going to be helpful. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you can't read me because I did this shit. Oh, don't got me. That got me. Um, fuck you. Sucks I'm not doing that much damage. But yeah, get the PS1 version. Yeah, this is not too bad, but I prefer controller. I don't want to have to die to uh, trigger the alternative method. Keyboard, bitch. Oh, shit. Okay, that's... This is going easier than I thought. Have to get that's what I have to do. I actually hit them next time. Yeah, this part's annoying. Mm. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I wasn't controlling them for a second. Sakamas must have done that. Not really. Not sure what happened there.
I wasn't honed. I wasn't firing right after he reloaded. And my keyboard's messing up. I, I knew he could teleport south of me. Better not use claymores and stuff. You just detonate them. There we go. No more keyboard. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off, right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake, or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi, it's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. So, Awkward. Uh, you used the other... I, I wasn't able to read the future. A strong man doesn't need to read the future. He makes his own. Perhaps so, but I will read your future. You think? To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through that hidden door. The books on top are look like Hanna Barbera ship. Color different. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Yeah, we already know this. Past the communication towers and use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the past. Presence and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way. And that's why there is war. But you... You are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
We are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just wanted an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen through evil. You, Snake. You're just like the boss. No, you're worse. Compared to you, I'm not so bad. Yeah, fuck you. I read her mind as well. Merrill's? I saw you there. You have a large yeah, Shran place to me. in your heart. A large place? <laughs> yes. A large place. But I do not know if your futures lie together. It doesn't. I have a last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind before I die. I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Oh, that's how it opened. Up of the Hanna Barbera books. He didn't die alone. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl? How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're gonna doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Never doubt yourself. Just let it make you stronger. Learn something from it. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? What? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering. What? What's the problem now? Oh, no, nothing. So, tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on. Let's go. Oh, her love and grease too. Let's do a Nadam sweep. The moss. But hey, yeah, these masks are supposed to be like, um, look like mantis or something. And that's why they're like, uh, have duct tape or on them or something. That's how I'm cutscene. Could there be wolves in there? Wolf dogs. Half wolf, half husky. 
How do you know so much? I ride dog sleds. I'm a musher. Okay, never mind. I'm just part. I'll take point. Snake, you follow me. Will you actually take point this time? Answer is she just walks away. So let's put on the more important item. The piss box. Go ahead and remove the piss boss. The <laughs> piss boss. Piss box. Go underneath that shit. Wait, is there, where's that puppy? Here, puppy. Things on their side. Okay. I'm not going to shoot these dogs. I should use the piss box. Ducky. What are you doing? Seriously, doesn't reckon see me or knows me? I thought it's like I get close to him, they automatically know. Seriously? I thought they'd like get hearts above their head when they see the piss box. And what is this? Oh shit! Never mind. Piss box does not work. No! Nope. Get off me! Get off me! Quit eating my blood. Oh, there's puppy. No, 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 no. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Is it box B I'm supposed to use? Oh shit, no 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 no. Okay, I, okay, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, I'm screwed. God damn it! Would you leave me alone? Okay, this is annoying. Okay, I'm supposed to get down, go down. Ration? I don't think this is the way. What are you gonna do? Oh, that's where I must go. Your puppy. Come here, puppy. Oh, now you lock me? Snake, what's wrong? I thought you were good with dogs. Fuck you. What's wrong with you? Where's that puppy? Okay, I wish it. Okay, where's the puppy? Oh, there he is. Puppy. Oh, so cute. Thermal. 
So, what do you think? Pretty good, huh? How did you know where the mines were? It sounds weird, but when Mantis dove into my mind, I was able to see where the mines were placed. Are you impressed? Well, a little bit. Only a little? I'm not going to do the next uh, boss fight for the video, but uh, let me. I just want to show one thing.